Park Palo Alto Research Center, formerly Xerox Park, is a research and development company in Palo Alto, California, with a distinguished reputation for its contributions to information technology and hardware systems. Founded by Jacob E. Jack Goldman, Xerox Corporation's chief scientist, in 1970, Xerox Park has been in large part responsible for such developments as laser printing, Ethernet, the modern personal computer, graphical user interface (GUI), and desktop paradigm, object-oriented programming, ubiquitous computing, electronic paper, amorphous silicon (AC) applications, and advancing very large-scale integration (VLSI) for semiconductors. Xerox formed Palo Alto Research Center Incorporated as a wholly owned subsidiary in 2002. Topic: History. In 1969, Jack Goldman, Xerox's chief scientist, spoke to George Paik, a physicist specializing in nuclear magnetic resonance and provost of Washington University in St. Louis, about starting a second research center for the company. Paik selected Palo Alto, California, as the site of what was to become known as Park. While the 3,000-mile buffer between it and Xerox headquarters in Rochester, New York afforded scientists at the new lab great freedom to undertake their work, the distance also served as an impediment in persuading management of the promise of some of their greatest achievements. PARC's West Coast location proved to be advantageous in the mid-1970s, when the lab was able to hire many employees of the nearby SRA Augmentation Research Center as that facility's funding began falling, from the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency National Aeronautics and Space Administration and U.S. Air Force being situated on Stanford Research Park land leased from Stanford University allowed Stanford graduate students to be involved in park research projects and park scientists to collaborate with academic seminars and projects. Much of PARC's early success in the computer field was under the leadership of its computer science laboratory manager Bob Taylor, who guided the lab as associate manager from 1970 to 1977 and as manager from 1977 to 1983. Today After three decades as a division of Xerox, Park was transformed in 2002 into an independent, wholly owned subsidiary company dedicated to developing and maturing advances in science and business concepts with the support of commercial partners and clients. Xerox remains the company's largest customer 50%, but Park has many other corporate and venture clients in different fields of use than Xerox including, VMware, Fujitsu, Dai Nippon Printing DNP, Samsung, NEC, Soulfocus, PowerSet, Thin Film Electronics Acer and many more. Park currently conducts research into clean technology, metamaterials, user interface design, sensemaking, ubiquitous computing and context-aware systems, large area electronics, digital manufacturing, and model-based control and optimization in embedded, intelligent systems. Accomplishments <coughs> 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 Xerox Park has been the inventor and incubator of many elements of modern computing in the contemporary office workplace. Laser printers, computer generated bitmap graphics, the graphical user interface, featuring windows and icons, operated with a mouse, the WYSIWYG text editor, Interpress, a resolution independent graphical page description language and the precursor to PostScript. Ethernet as a local area computer network Fully formed object-oriented programming with class-based inheritance, the most popular OOP model to this day in the Smalltalk programming language and integrated development environment Prototype-based programming the second most popular inheritance model in OOP in the self-programming language Model view controller software architecture 
AspectJ and Aspect Oriented Programming AOP extension for the Java programming language. Topic: The Alto Most of these developments were included in the Alto, which added the now familiar Stanford Research Institute SRA developed mouse, unifying into a single model most aspects of now standard personal computer use. The integration of Ethernet prompted the development of the Park Universal Packet architecture, much like today's Internet. The GUI. Xerox has been heavily criticized particularly by business historians for failing to properly commercialize and profitably exploit PARC's innovations. A favorite example is the graphical user interface GUI, initially developed at PARC for the Alto and then commercialized as the Xerox Star by the Xerox Systems Development Department. Although very significant in terms of its influence on future system design, it is deemed a failure because it only sold approximately 25,000 units. A small group from Park led by David Little and Charles Irby formed Metaphor Computer Systems. They extended the Star Desktop concept into an animated graphic and communicating office automation model and sold the company to IBM. Topic. Distinguished researchers Among PARC's distinguished researchers were three Turing Award winners, Butler W. Lampson 1992, Alan K. 2003, and Charles P. Thacker 2009. The Association for Computing Machinery ACM Software System Award recognized the Alto system in 1984, Smalltalk in 1987, Interlisp in 1992, and the Remote Procedure Call in 1994. Lampson, K., Bob Taylor, and Charles P. Thacker received the National Academy of Engineering's prestigious Charles Stark Draper Prize in 2004 for their work on the Alto. Topic. Legacy PARC's developments in information technology served for a long time as standards for much of the computing industry. Many advances were not equaled or surpassed for two decades, enormous timespans in the fast-paced high-tech world. While there is some truth that Xerox management failed to see the potential of many of PARC's inventions, this was mostly a problem with its computing research, a relatively small part of PARC's operations. A number of GUI engineers left to join Apple Computer. Technologies pioneered by its materials scientists such as liquid crystal display LCD, optical disc innovations, and laser printing were actively and successfully introduced by Xerox to the business and consumer markets. Work at PARC since the early 1980s includes advances in ubiquitous computing, aspect-oriented programming, and IPv6. Topic: See also Global view List of people associated with Park Xerox Daybreak aka Xerox Windows 6085